Good morning. How the devil are we all? <clears throat> How the devil are we all? Oh. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video, everybody. Let's make sure the camera's a bit clean there. Excuse the hand. Make sure it's nice and clean for you. Well, it's Monday morning. Uh, it's a new video. If this is, this is the first time you've been to this video on this channel, welcome to the channel, of course. And give us a subscribe if this, this is the first time you've been here. So you're notified when videos go live, of course. Um, I'm in early this morning. Well, how do I start this video? <laughs> uh, we've got, we're loaded already. We loaded on Friday and we have a loaded... Uh, trailer and we are heading to Slough for a 10 a.m. delivery according to the office. Um, there's no timings on the paperwork though. <clears throat> I've looked on the paperwork and I don't see any sort of timing for 10 a.m. Uh, so that tells me that I can turn up any time I want. <laughs> Um, no, it's on a serious note, uh, it is a 10 a.m. delivery, but it's not on the paperwork, but the office says it's 10 a.m. and they're quite strict on timings. I've got IBCs on the back of the trailer, um, which I collected on Friday, of course, and it's now quarter past five in the morning, but I, the reason why I've started earlier is to get away from the Dartford crossing, that gets busy, and to get away from the A13, it gets busy at six o'clock, and also to get away around the M25 as much as I can before it gets gridlocked. <laughs> so what I'm gonna, the plan is to do is to yes, start it early because I want to get my hours in, because I need to get my hours in to earn a decent living out of this job. Um, <clears throat> and um, is to pull on uh, Clackett's, probably Cobham services, grab myself some breakfast, have a cup of coffee, just chill out for about half an hour, just to kill some time really. Um, and then we'll poodle round to Slough in Berkshire. Berkshire, Berkshire, how, are, how it's Berkshire, I think, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, that county. And uh, we'll, and do our delivery. I've researched the company. It looks fairly straightforward. Goods in, round, goods out. But exit, it ran outside of the building. I've, take, I've had a good bit of, good look at the, uh, plan my route is what I'm trying to say. I've done that. <clears throat> and... Um, we're all looking good, of course. We're all looking good. Um, apart from that, had a fantastic weekend. Had a really nice weekend. It was my birthday weekend uh, with the family. Not sure if you've seen my Facebook, but I put a little picture on there of us in the hot tub, relaxing, of course. Uh, there was quite a few of us down there, about 11 or 12 of us. Um, so I little, took a little snapshot, put it on a group chat uh, on the Facebook page, should I say. Um, and we had such a nice relaxing weekend and it was nice to have a hot tub. That's, I mean, our hot tubs are amazing, isn't it? Great way to relax. Uh, that, I, that's what I need after work every single day. It'd do me a f massive favour. Um, and shit like that, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, so I've got a few pointers to come out to, to bring up on this video as well, of course. Um, because the last video, well, thank you for the comments on the last video, of course, but lots of comments on the last couple of videos. Not being very nice at all from some of you people out there. Not being very nice. There's always the same ones that I notice. And if you carry on, I'll have to block you. Um, not that it's getting to me. It doesn't at all. Say what you want, you know. Um, your comments are always appreciated, whether they're good or bad or the ugly, you know. Everyone's got their points of views, and that's something you accept. Um, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, apart from that, I had a good weekend. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend with your friends and family, of course, as well. Um, so today's plan is obviously Slough, like I said, delivery. And then we're heading back to Tilbury for a reload for tomorrow. And I think we're heading to Deeside, which is up in sort of North Wales, if you like. Uh, so we've got a good old journey, but we need to make some ground tonight, hopefully. If we get this off at a good time, get back to Tilbury, get loaded, make some ground tonight for a morning tip tomorrow. 
Um, yeah, we'll see how we do for time. Or I may come back to the yard tonight and go home. We'll see. See how we do for time. If we get back here late and we don't get out of Tilbury till late, I won't be making much ground tonight. No chance, because parking will be a pain in the backside. So I'll just come back to the yard and go home if I need to. Who cares? Uh, I don't. Anyway, um, there's still a lot of our drivers in the yard. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six drivers still in the yard, not even coming to work yet. <laughs> you can tell it's Monday, can't you? Anyway, let's get on the road. I'm going to have a little chat as we poodle around the M25. Okay, so we're just leaving the yard. Let's go. 25 past five and we're leaving the yard. Mondays normally I'm out way earlier than this. Um, however, oh, our drivers are all getting in now. They're all poodling in. Um, Oh, my sunglasses. Have I got them? Two secs. Got my sunglasses. Just try to get comfortable in the morning, get comfortable. That's what you're trying to do. That's me. <coughs> oh, that sun's bright, isn't it? Oh, very bright indeed. So the front camera's not on at the moment, but I will put it on in just a second once we leave the yard. Um, we'll put it on in a minute for you. You know, I'm not sure how fussy these guys are. Well, this is not. Like, we share a yard with Uniserve, so it's not our yard, if you like. So you've got to be careful recording in, recording on site, people moaning and all that sort of stuff, because you will get it. You'll get people complaining and moaning. It always, there's always a few, which, you know, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, front camera is on now. Front camera is on. Just as we're leaving through the gates. Um, let's see. Right, so. Um, well, we're leaving the yard now and the currently contact workshop. Well, we're not going to contact workshop because we've got deliveries to make. And the contact workshop is not what we want on a Monday. Anyway, um, yeah, so what I was saying was um, no photography or camera or phones. See, that's why we don't record on site. Um, <coughs> yeah, sorry, so what I was saying was um, is we, our ETA is currently just after 7 a.m. Uh, based on, every, based on, based at the moment. So, um, there's one of our guys, one of our drivers. He's on his way out early, just like me. Yeah, so, ETA is 10 past seven at the moment. Um, uh, we'll see. I'm gonna aim to get there probably about eight o'clock, really. Um, you know, that's probably what I'm gonna do, is aim to get there about eight o'clock. We'll see. Yeah, we're going to be probably two hours early, but it is what it is. I'm not going to get there for 10 because I've started early. I want to get there early and get this job off so I can get back here and uh, make some progress later on to for my next job in the morning. It's got a bit of a drive. Otherwise, I'll go home tonight and come in tomorrow and I've got a four hour drive up north. So, you know, you want to sort of avoid it if you can. Anyway. Uh, yeah, had such a nice weekend, guys. Really nice weekend. And it's something I really. Do you know what, when you, when you use a hot tub, for example, and you, you just get a nice relaxing bit of time, you just want to go and buy one, don't you? You know, it's something I'm really going to consider when we move into our new home. Oh, fucking contact workshop. Really, we should piss off if it keeps flagging up now. And there's no reason why it keeps coming up. 
Like I've done my checks and that, I've got no major issues with the cab or anything. <coughs> a couple of small defects in the trailer, but apart from that, which was basically a curtain slashed, my curtain got slashed last week. Not major, it's about that big. So that's a defect, well, on the trailer, I've reported it, I've defected it. And um, I've got a marker light, which is broke as well. Only one, it's not major. It's not enough to take the trailer off the road anyway. So that's been defected and reported as well. Apart from that, everything else seems to be all right. Right, so this is what I was gonna bring up earlier. I wanted to very briefly talk to you about on this video. Um, had quite a few comments from, I don't know, you know, a few subscribers, I guess, followers. Uh, stating that I'm, I look very, um, very unwell, very tired. The job's killing me, and blah de blah de blah. And um, <coughs> <coughs> frog in my throat, like most days. Um, and to be honest with you, I mean, I don't agree with the comments. I don't disagree with the comments, to be honest with you. And that's me being absolutely blo brutally honest. Um, the job itself, this job, uh, and it does it not just this job, but it'll be bloody any job in general haulage when you're doing this line of work for long hours, um, would probably be doing the same to most drivers and making them absolutely knackered come up Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, especially come Thursday, Friday. Um, this job, you start to look very tired towards the end of the week. Um, and that is what this job does. It really does. Um, with the hours that you do, come the end of the week, you're absolutely shattered. I'm not joking, you're knackered. <coughs> um, this probably isn't the most, this is definitely not the job to be in, um, in terms of looking after yourself. I mean, you can look after yourself best you can, but based on the nature of the job, with regards to the hours that you do, and the time, and you're only at nine hours off, stroke 11 hours off a day, um, a night, it's not enough rest, and you are tired. And I must say, in this job, I am feeling tired quite a lot. <coughs> um, I am tired a lot, I must say, and, and some people have pulled up, they said I've got a bag under my eyes, which is true. Uh, I've had a good rest this weekend, don't get me wrong, it's nice to get a rest at weekends. Um, but yeah, through the week, I do get very tired on this job, and the job's not killing me. Um, I've had a bit of a cough recently, I've had a bit of a, my hay fever really, I've been suffering my hay fever really bad recently. I've been, my nose, my tickly throat, chesty cough all the time. Hay fever's really affecting everything, my, everything, you know, but I've still got a bit of it now, you know, I suffer with it. I do suffer with hay fever. <coughs> so, yeah, so I do appreciate them comments and do sort of agree to a, agree to a degree that you know the job itself it does it is a very tiring job. What we do, we're doing long hours on the road. We are doing 13 stroke 15 hour days. No prob, no 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 doubt there. We're averaging between 65 well 65 70 hours per week most weeks in this line of work. It's a long, it's it's hard graft. You know, and those that say it's a piece of piss, it ain't. You know, if you think it's a piece of piss, that's, you, that's up to you. But, I mean, some of the jobs we get can be a piece of, piece of cake. Of course. But doesn't, doesn't, doesn't stop, doesn't, what I'm trying to say is it doesn't change the fact that you're doing long hours. So you can do jobs that are really piece of, piece of piss with regards to deliveries. Yeah, no problem, happy days. But, <coughs> pardon me, but, um, the long hours you're doing on the on the road, from your card going into your card going out and for you resting, you're still doing long hours. So you're up all day. It's not like a job where you take, yeah, you can take your, your breaks through the day and that, but in this job, you'll have days where you can't take, you can take your break normal, your taco break, putting out of services, take your 45 minutes, no, no problem. But you will have days where you, you can't afford to do that. Because if you do that, you don't get a delivery done or you fall behind. That is a thing with this job. I'm not saying it's just the, this job that I'm doing now with this company. Any company in this industry is exactly the same. And they'll tell you, they may, they'll tell you different to cover their asses. I'll tell you now, when you're on the road as a driver, 
different ball game. You know, you know, if you sometimes don't clear your taco as and when you've got to clear your taco, um, you don't get jobs done. And some people say, well, that's the company's fault. They've got to plan you better. And that's true. I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that statement. Never, but it's not reality. That's the problem. It's not reality. And companies know it as well. <clears throat> but, you know, it's important you get your rest. I totally agree. You know, I, I, the last couple of videos I've looked very tired. Because I actually looked back. I, I actually did, you know, listen to your comments and take it. I do take the comments on board. Whether they're good, bad or ugly, you know. I looked back at the um, I looked back at the videos and I thought, bloody hell, I do look pretty tired. And maybe in this video as well I look tired. I don't know, but... Um, don't feel tired, but you know, I mean, shave is probably why I look scruffy. But what I'm saying is, um, I totally get it. I totally get what you're saying, you know. And uh, and don't get me wrong, the comments haven't irritated me or, or annoyed me. It's just comments that I've taken on board. And I do read the comments honestly. If, if if you know, whether you love me or hate me on these videos, I will read your comments honestly. And it doesn't annoy me at all. I totally respect everyone's points of view. Totally. And this, my videos are not for everybody, you know. They're not for everyone, you know. Um, he's in a rush. Um, my videos are not for everyone. I totally get that. Everyone's not going to take to my videos. They're going to have their their views, and they're going to, you know, totally get it. But there's a lot of people that enjoy the videos, and I always say that, you know. And you can't please everyone, is what I'm trying to say. But you don't have to watch the videos if you don't like them, of course. But some people will still watch them because they do like them deep down. So, um, yeah, so anyway, anyway, thanks for the comments. I've taken it on board and uh, I'm going to try and rest more. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and rest more. There's Andy. Just picked his truck up from Volvo. He's been for a full service this weekend. Um, so he started a bit later this morning. But yeah, now, like I said, um, it's a new week though, guys, isn't it? It's a new week. But yeah, no, the comments in the last videos, lovely comments. My Amazon job was a nice, nice, um, some nice comments there. Even though it was crap work, rubbish work. Um, and um, my last video, which was working on my birthday, my birthday. Um, yeah, so. So we're just going, this is why I leave a bit earlier, so to get down this road. This road here, the A13, coming towards Dartford, gets extremely busy. And I mean very busy after 6 o'clock. So you want to be out of this road before 6 for a start, or leave before half 5 at the very, very latest. Um, and then we're going to go across Dartford Bridge to, um, to, uh, to well, towards the, uh, we're going Gatwick, Gatwick, towards Gatwick, basically. Uh, our delivery is Slough, which is near Heathrow. So it's sort of Reading, sort of towards the M3, M4, if you like. Um, so we've got to scoop all the way around half the M25. So my plan is, um, my plan is to, for us to um, make some ground this morning, get around the M25 as much as we possibly can. Uh, so we, we've got less traffic to worry about this morning as we get to our job. Um, and then obviously we'll probably get there a bit earlier than 10 o'clock, of course we will. Um, but we'll, we will stop off at the services, probably Packet or Cobham I might stop at actually, Cobham. And we'll just take a 30 minute break there, have some breakfast, grab a coffee, and I'll probably get back to you as we're, um, as we're in there at the uh, service station. Um, and then, yeah, well then you can poodle around with me to, um, to slough if you like see so you don't need to i don't need to be i don't need to own or have an adr license or certificate to uh, transport this cargo on because they're empty so um yeah so they're just empty happy days nice and easy light light load um we haven't got to worry about diesel or adblue or 66 percent of adblue on the tank and i've got under a thousand miles of diesel in the tank as well, because I did fill up on Friday. So we haven't got to worry about that, probably for the next couple of days. Probably won't have to fill up again till tomorrow, stroke early Wednesday, so we'll see. Um, but we'll just, we're about to cross the Dartford Bridge in just a second, and the roads are pretty clear on this side at the moment, and that's good. 
We'll keep it that way. Oh, lane restriction ahead. Prohibited in cars, only lane. What's happened there then? What's happened up ahead? Let's have a look. It's always a sign that something's happened, isn't it? Is he going to move over? He's not going to move over, is he? Of course he's not. He can't move over, that's why. But he tried to get in front of me, which is fine. I slowed down to let him go. Because he weren't going to slow down for me. He didn't want to skip past me, so. Uh, yeah, it's a nice morning. It's 13 degrees. Uh, as we go across, as we're, as we're approaching Dartford Bridge, it's 13 degrees. So we'll get across the bridge, make some ground, and uh, go from there today. I got the truck washed last week, so the unit's clean. The trailer I've got on is the same trailer I've had for, I think well, I had it all of last week. And I'm probably gonna have it all of this week as well. So the trailer's washed as well. We've got a clean trailer. I've done my vehicle checks this morning. There's no major defects on the trailer or anything. Tires I've checked, possible two tyres may need changing on the trailer. At the moment, there's enough tread on there um, to, 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 to not warrant changing them yet. Uh, I may possibly need two tyres on the two front tyres on the unit. Uh, at the moment, I think we're okay for tread as well there, but they, they're, they're sort of going to be needing changing soon, I reckon. Um, so we'll see how that goes as the days and weeks progress. But we'll probably need some sort of tyre change soon. What I like about going across Dartford Bridge, you see all the cars, the amount of vehicles, of new vans and cars that are parked up in storage is unbelievable. Thousands of cars, hundreds of vans, hundreds of cars, easily. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, just thought I'd give you an update on how we're getting on so far. <coughs> we're just coming around to Heathrow, sort of Hounslow if you like. Um, it's Hounslow area, Staines, Hounslow. It's the M3 basically, uh, M3, M3 stroke M4, We've gone past M3 already. Um, just coming round towards Heathrow Airport now. Um, there's been a bit of traffic along the way but I did take a I did take a 40 minute, 35, 40 minute break at Clackett Lane service to kill a bit of time this morning because we can't get there too early. But I still wanted to leave in plenty of time because you know what the traffic's like on the M25. It can be very busy. But we've managed to get through the traffic side of things. It tends to be quite clear now. Um, which I'm quite surprised considering we're going around sort of Heathrow area, Junction 14. Heathrow Airport is just over here, on my left hand side, I think, straight right hand side, one of the two. Uh, I think it's part of the runway over here, one of the runways, they've got so many runways there, haven't they? Um, yeah, so, um, ETA is 8.31, so we're looking to get there just after 8.30. I'm gonna, gonna put, I've looked at, looked at the address, and I'm gonna put it outside, and see if I can just hold if I can park outside of site and just wait there for what until after nine, I might even walk in there and see if they'll take me early. But I'll try. Um, but yeah, this is the wrong way on the left and right. I love this part of the Heathrow. This is why I put the cameras on really to give you an update. But also, you can see the plane taking off there. I just love seeing planes take off. I'm a bit of a fanatic when it comes to watching aircraft and that. Um, bit of a bit of a geek. I like what seeing, I love plane spotting. So, but when I see planes take off on a nice morning like this at Heathrow, especially Heathrow, because you see all sorts taking off there, don't you? It's a massive airport. Um, it just makes me want to book a holiday. Or is that just me? You want to just book a holiday. It makes you feel that way, you know. Like you're missing out on stuff, and you want to book something up and go away, you know always makes me feel like I want to book a holiday all the time you know but who knows I don't, even, I don't even know if we're gonna if we're gonna get any holidays abroad this year I don't think we will I think we've got too much going on you know 
But um, yeah, we've got a bit of traffic coming up ahead. So we're coming off here, Junction 15 now. Um, yeah, Junction 15 for Slough, and that's where we're pretty much heading to. So we've got a bit of traffic up ahead. Two minute delay at the moment. But yeah, we're still gonna be an hour and a half early. It's only five past eight. We'll be there in about 25 minutes. So um, I was hoping to show you guys on the front camera some big planes taking off in front of me. Because normally you see massive A380s going over the front at this point of the motorway. And they're big old planes like it's Fly Emirates and Qatar Airways and you see big planes. But I haven't seen any yet. I'm not sure if you'd see them on the front camera if, if you do. If they do come over the front. I mean, it looks like we've gone past that point though, so. Hey ho. Um, what I'll do is I'll get back to you probably just before we get to our job, a few minutes before. Um, oh, there's one there, British Airways, but it's only a small one. Um, but yeah, this is a very busy part of the M25. If you've not been to this part of the M25 before, it's very, very busy. Uh, this is actually quite clear considering I've, seen, I've been sat in this for like two hours at this point, Heathrow part of the, mo uh, of the um, the uh, motorway M25. Uh, so, but we've been told there's a 20 minute delay on the M4. I'm not sure if that's going to affect us. At the moment, it doesn't look like it at the moment, but you never know. Um, but yeah, anyway, Junction 15 we're coming off at. So I'll get back to you probably just before we get to our destination. And we'll get these IBCs off. Um, whether I can record on site with IBCs, probably not. Mm, I'm going to assume probably not, but I'll, I'll maybe try and show you what we've got on board with the, with the camera if I can. But we'll, we'll see, all right? Apart from that, I'll catch up with you very, very shortly. Okay, welcome back, you beautiful people. We are tipped in Slough. Slough. See the plane in front? Right, that's how close we are to Heathrow Airport. You can see one landing. What's the speed limit here? 30. Um, yeah, we're all tipped there. So it's now quarter to 11. So they did not let us in early. Um, we got there at 9, for, uh, sorry, uh, 8.30 took our paperwork there was two container drivers in front of me he took our paperwork no problems there but did not let me on site until 10 o'clock so they're very strict on timings there so at least I know for next time they, it was fine with me turn up early he just said you need to wait till 10 o'clock I went no that's fine I said I left a bit early because I wasn't sure what the M25 traffic was going to be like so I do apologize I'm a little bit early um, he said no, that's fine just wait there anyone that comes in just, just let them go around you and I'll come out and get you when we're ready to take it off. Okay, cool. So there was like two container drivers, two tanker drivers in before me. And as I left site, there was four, one, two, two containers, one curtain cider waiting to go in. So it is a busy site, I must say. Um, but yeah, the guy on the site said to me, do you mind putting these stickers on for me so we can scan them? I went, just to save you some time, get you out quick. I went, yeah, of course I will. So I helped him put the stickers on the, the uh, cargo just to get me out quicker, basically. Otherwise, he's got to go up and down, up and down, up and down, move it up. And, I'll, say, I'll do the stickers for you, you take it off, happy days. Um, saves me time in the, on site, speeds up the process, get other drivers in, happy days. You know, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <coughs> so yeah. So we're just coming out of Slough now. Uh, back on the 25, I need the toilet, I need a wee. Um, and, uh, and then probably then we'll head back to Tilbury. We'll go back to Tilbury for our backload. Uh, we're loading, I think we're loading paper reels. We're loading reels. Uh, so we'll, we should be able to make some progress today up the road to get parked up this evening. Um, so yeah, we should be able to make some progress this afternoon once we're loaded, if we get loaded in good time, of course, to head to D side. It's D side we're going to. Um, How? Side, meaning the devil are we? North Wales, if you like. How are you doing? Now, this is fast forward to Tuesday evening. <laughs> so I do apologise, I haven't done much recording between Monday 
and now. <laughs> um, but hey ho, here we are again. It's Tuesday evening. Um, and this is a typical, the typical life of a tramper on the road. Um, that's what this video is about. So I did show you, I've shown you some footage of me on the road, obviously Monday, on the road driving, uh, etc. Uh, now you join me, obviously, in the cab. I'm parked up, it's now, oh, my watch is charging. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? 18.34. I was parked up at uh, 5.30 today. I started at 4 a.m. this morning. Uh, so it's pretty much a 14 hour day for me today. So I'm, all, I'm into a 15 hour day on the taco side of things. But um, cause anything over 13 hours does count as a 15 hour day, one of your 15 hour days. So today has been a very long day. I'm, I've, I've, today I've done nine and a half hours driving. So I've used a 10 hour drive, drive, um, uh, drive today, one of my 10 hours. So I've only got one left to use for the week, of course. Um, and here we are parked up. We're currently parked up at, where are we? We're at, da -da -da -da. we're at Corley. I'll just show you there, we're parked up. This is a typical day. Everyone, all the lorry drivers are getting parked up now, finding spaces. Um, I've got no one next to me on my driver's side, but seven and a half tonne are parked on this side. But everyone's now starting to try and get spaces. So it's getting a bit chaotic now. There's been a few issues on the M6 coming down from Wrexham. And that's where I've been. I went past the Wrexham Football Club today um, to do a collection up there. And we're off down to Colchester tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, so we're about just under three hours away from Colchester from here. But because I've used a 10 hour drive today, I can't drive any further. So I've had to get parked up on the M6, and this is where we are. Um, I've had a shower. I've been for a shower in the facilities or the services, which are okay. I should have shown you really. Maybe I'll show you through the week. Um, but hey ho, a shower's a shower. They're warm, I'm clean. Got my shorts on, my clean t-shirt, my clean socks, of course. I've had a good clean. I'm nice and fresh, not sweaty. Um, it's now dinner time, so I'm just having some dinner tonight. I've got a chicken katsu tonight. I'll just show you what I've got there, chicken katsu. A nice healthy chicken katsu. Carrots, chicken of course, cooked chicken. Um, rice with some sauce, um, green beans, and um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, some avocado and cucumber and, what else is near? Spinach. So, <clears throat> That's what I'm having for dinner tonight. I've got a few snacks. Now, I'm being healthy here, as you can see, but I like to treat myself in the evening. Not every night, but I like to sometimes have a little treat. So, I've got some Jaffa cakes for myself. Say no more. And a packet of pepperoni feast, Walker's Pizza Hut crisps. <laughs> I won't eat all them tonight, by the way. But if I do decide to be healthy, I've got organic bananas and that's healthier isn't it <laughs> that's what i should be having um my watch is on charge there i treated myself to some new glasses as well i think i've got some uh, i'm a big formula one fan i do like my formula one my f1 um i've uh, got the special edition mclaren formula one team sunglasses uh you may see me wear them on a few videos moving forward but i thought i'd show you let me tuck my mirror in before he takes it out. Just in case he does. That's what you've got to contend with as well. Your mirror's possibly getting taken out by an 18 tonner. All he's got to do is take a shunt, move forward, take a shunt and straighten up. But he's making it quite difficult for himself. So I've had to tuck the mirror, through. Tuck the mirror in anyway. Moving on, but I think he's all right to get in. Um, and it's a fridge, great. That's also what you've got to put up with. Everyday life of a tramper. Fridge is parking next to you and you possibly not getting no sleep. I'm hoping he's not gonna be next to me all night. Anyway, <laughs> um, 
yeah, so I'm just chilling at the moment now. Um, yeah, it is a fridge, isn't it? It is. Um, I've just tried to tune the telly in, but I can't tune it in for some reason. I'll just show you. It's not tuning in, so I do like, I do like to watch a bit of telly in the evenings. Um, but what we do have, because I'm using it off of my Wi-Fi hotspot, I've got a smart telly, um, Netflix, iPlayer, ITV player, Channel 4, Channel 5, etc, etc. I do like to watch a bit of BBC iPlayer. Just log into my account and obviously, there you go, we've got Wimbledon, on, Wimbledon 2024 on. Um, yeah, so I do like to watch a bit of telly. Should we put it on? Uh, watch live, watch live. It should now come on, hopefully. So this is what I like to do in the evenings. I like to relax and watch a telly. This has recently just been fitted, or I had to fit it myself, but the office brought us a telly. It does freeze sometimes if the Wi-Fi is crap. But there you go, nice clear picture. Watching Wimbledon. So I can watch a bit of Wimbledon. I'll just put that on mute, actually. Where are we? Where's mute? There it is. Um, yeah, so I like to just chill out in the evening sometimes and watch a bit of telly, but not all the time. But I haven't really shown you, have I, really? I should give you a little small tour, really. Um, we've got our microwave up here. Um, so I've got my microwave up here, of course. Um, storage in here where I keep all my coffee and my little snacks and my medicines and my first aid kit if I need it. Um, paperwork goes up there for work where I keep all my paperwork hours etc so I know where that is I've kept that open a few times driven off and it's fallen on my head I'm sure we've all done that I do like to keep some teddies I've got a teddy from my daughter there that she got for me and etc uh, got my magazines down there uh, my pillows of course I'm a bit of a gamer I'm not sure if you've noticed but I do like a bit of gaming and uh, my books are behind me as well yeah another teddy uh, and yeah, this is the front of the cab, of course. As you can see, wires everywhere at the moment, but in the morning I tidy them all up. I'm charging my Apple Watch. Uh, I've got my glasses there, so I've just shown you, of course. Receipt for my parking that I've got to claim back, because it's not snap here, unfortunately. Um, yeah, and all my storage is down there for paperwork, etc, etc. You know, nothing, nothing special. And my lockers, obviously, all up here. I keep all my clothes in here. You'd never think yeah, they all hide them. <laughs> They're all my clothes. Um, and I've got just little bits and bobs in here. Toilet roll, where I keep my toilet roll, my wash kit, my inverter that I haven't even got fitted yet. No, I'm not saying nothing else on that. Table over there if I need to eat. And I keep my dirty wash in here, the bag, obviously, at the moment. Uh, so it's pretty tidy. I would say I'm a quite, I'm quite a tidy individual, to a degree. Whether it's a Volvo or um, Scania, whatever, Mercedes, whatever, they've all got the fridges and stuff. Um, so this is pretty much my home. Um, I know I haven't really done this sort of thing you know, on a video before, but I thought I'd include it on this video, because um, this is the everyday life of a HGV driver, tramper if you like, um, here in the UK. Um, this cabs you know, are a decent size. I'm six foot one. No major issues of height, of course, with me in here, but this is me for the evening. So um, there's not really a great deal to show you apart from that. But if you're thinking about becoming a tramper, of course, um, then this is pretty much your life. This will be your life on the road. Uh, this is pretty much my life, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, if I'm working Saturday morning. So it's four nights out. Four nights out Monday to Friday and I go home on Friday but if I'm out if I'm working Saturday morning I'm out five nights which is Friday as well so this is what you live in pretty much all week now some people will look at this video and go bloody hell how do you do it to be honest with you it's easy there's nothing it might look small but it's actually it's actually on camera it might look small in here but it's it's an okay size um, you know I'm tall enough my head doesn't hit the roof or nothing it's everything you need. All you need is your food, your fridge, your microwave, your telly, which is a bonus, your bed, which is comfortable, as long as it's comfortable, which this one is in this Volvo. Um, so I can't argue, our office are very good with providing us everything we need 
uh, to be on the road, so I can't complain. Sorry about that. So my company do look after us in terms of tramping on the road. Uh, they've given us everything we need, that we need to live on the road, if you like, all week. Uh, it's not ideal for everyone. It's not for everybody, this sort of job, of course, as a, as a tramper in the UK, as a long distance hauler, if you like. Um, but it does the job. We're getting paid to do a job and we just make the most of it whilst we're on the road, make it as homely as you can in here. Um, and that's all you can do. So, yeah, so I'm just gonna eat my dinner and go from, there, go from there. I'm trying to eat a bit better on the road because I have put a bit of weight on recently. Not loads, but a little bit more than I used. Before I was a lorry driver, um, I'd certainly weighed about probably just over a stone lighter. So I've definitely put a bit of weight on since I've been driving for nearly two years now, since I passed my test. Um, but I don't regret nothing. I enjoy my job. Um, I enjoy it. And like I said, this isn't for everybody. You know, tramping is not for everyone. But you, if you're looking to get your experience as a new driver, I do feel like tramping is a fantastic way to learn very quickly because you do pretty much do anything and everything on the road. And you could be anywhere in the country. You see great views throughout the country. I mean, if you've been on my Instagram, on my Facebook, especially my Instagram, you you see some really nice pictures that I put on there of the lorry, of the truck, of course, of the Volvo and the Mercedes I had before, uh, and the Volvo before that, the old the older Reg. Um, I've seen some great sights up and down the country as a tramper. So, um, and it's you know it's endless. The only places I haven't been is Ireland and Scotland yet. I've not been to Scotland. I really want to go to Scotland, but. It's as and when work comes up, I guess, and it is what it is. Um, you go where the office basically instructs you to go, don't you? For your collections, your backloads, etc., uh, and your deliveries. So, yeah, but yeah, pros and cons. Lots of pros and cons to to doing this line of work. But I wanted to just show you tonight what I'm doing in a cab. I'm going to have my have my dinner. Uh, I'm going to relax. I'm going to watch some tennis. I'm going to uh, I'm going to FaceTime my wife. FaceTime my daughter, uh, and that's what we do in the evening to make sure everyone's all right, um, which I'm sure they are. Uh, and that's what probably most 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 of us do. We FaceTime our loved ones in the evening. Um, we speak to them during the day, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so it's all good. I'm feeling good this week. I feel really good actually. Uh, last night I actually got to go home as well. Monday I got to go home and see my wife and daughter, see family. Uh, I finished a little bit later than I wanted to out of Tilbury and because I'm based at Tilbury I, m I managed to just go and park the truck up uh, get home at a decent time which was really nice it makes all the difference for me if I can get home occasionally for the week um, it, it's a bit of a morale booster if you like and I'll just come in a little bit earlier in the morning and get going uh, the office are cool with it because if you can see your family, they're absolutely fine with it, of course, as long as it's not jeopardising work or have an impact on your work, which it doesn't with me. Um, and all is good. Happy days. So, yeah. So, that's me this evening. I'm going to say chorao, or cheerio, should I say, for now. And I'll speak to you probably in the morning as we, yeah, I'll put the cameras on in the morning as we wake up and as we head south to Colchester for our delivery because we've got about 24 and a half ton on the back of this it is heavy uh, um, and I've got half a tank of diesel and I've got a full tank of Ablu that I'm carrying as well so I'm pretty heavy maximum weight I'd say um, apart from that I'll see you in the morning when we wake up and get ready to hit the road speak to you in the morning Where's my lights? Don't know where the lights are. There we go. 
Morning guys. What time is it? It is 4.47. I'm going back to bed. Well, I slept well, got seven hours sleep. I'm struggling to get up. I'll catch up with you shortly when we do our morning checks. Speech in a second. Guys, do my vehicle checks. Ooh, pin. That's all good. Lights are working. I've teched the tyres already. I've already done that before I went for a wash. Looking good. Days. The lights are working. I'm ready to go.